I've been getting a lot of questions lately about what the Jira and Asana integration looks like. Now, there are, are a few different ways that we can connect Jira and Asana, depending what your use case is. If you want to go bi-directionally or you just want to push information one way or the other. But in this video, I'm going to break down those different options. But if you're new here, my name is Marquis. I'm the CEO of Surface and we are proud Asana partners. And I make videos like this every single week to help you and your team get the most out of your Asana investment. And so uh, with this question, it, it's really for teams that are working in Jira. Maybe uh, it's a marketing team that's working in Jira with their with their dev teams or their product teams. And they want to move out of Jira because they're realizing there are some limitations. And so this use case is a very common one. If you're wondering why would marketing use Jira, it's very common. I see it all the time. But in this case, we're going to move marketing outside of Jira and we're going to put them into Asana get them set up there, but their dev team wants to stay in Jira. So we want to be able to have communication go both ways so that dev or product can see exactly what is happening in Asana and vice versa. So let's get into the demo. So here I have a, a project board. I just called it dev board um, here. And so we can come in, you're familiar with Jira, you can create um, different issues, um, whether it's um, whether it's tasks or um, whether it's epics or bugs or whatever the case may be. So in this example, we're just going to keep it really simple, keep it to tasks. And I'm going to set up uh, an issue here. So let's just do test issue. There we go. We can create that. And then it's put on the, the DB in front of it for the, the issue code. Now we have to connect this to Asana. So I'm going to come over to Asana. I'm going to create a brand new project here show you what this will look like and we'll call this dev board um, i mean we'll call it dev marketing board and let's just sure as it's spinning up here um, again this is the use case where we want to be able to keep both teams in sync as to what's going on so i'm going to show you exactly what this looks like now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to set up sections so that these sections mimic what's here in jira so we can have our first section we'll call it to do and then in progress and then we want done as well and i'm going to set a rule here that when a task is completed, um, completion changes to task complete. I'm just going to move it to this section. Done. Um, task completion, like so. And I'm going to publish that rule just so we have it. OK, so uh, I'm going to move this to board just so we got it there. And then I'll make this my by default. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the Jira app. So on the side over here, we see customize. We'll come down to apps and we can see Jira cloud right here. Um, there's lots of other Jira instances you can connect with. Um, and so if you're not using Jira cloud, if you're using Jira server or another version of Jira, you can also plug into that one as well. But for this example, I'm going to use Jira cloud. Now we have the option to add to projects. Now quickly, what it's going to do is it's going to give you this little widget right inside of your project that's going to allow you to connect and see either the status of an issue inside of Jira or for the folks in Jira to see what's going on inside of Asana. And like we um, have with our various other rules, we can create different rules depending on the actions and the triggers that happen within our Asana project. So let's just add this to our project first off. And because I'm already logged into Jira, it's, it's connected it to our project. Now I want to go back to Jira Cloud and we're going to see what options we have by highlighting the data sync settings right here. So what this will do is it'll allow us to now make some decisions on what data we want to flow where and how we want to map that information. So it's now connecting to Jira and we want to choose the project that we want to connect it to. So uh, our dev marketing board in Asana is going to connect to our dev board inside of Jira. And the issue type that we want to keep in sync, we only have tasks and epics inside of our Jira board. If we had bugs um, uh, here as well, we could, we could obviously sync those types of things there. Now, what type of sync direction do we want? So we can have a one-way push where when something happens in Asana, it creates that issue in, in Jira. When that Jira issue is added, it creates it in Asana. Or we can have a two-way sync that keeps the tasks and issues 
um, in sync together. So I'm going to select the two-way option, okay? And I'm going to have it import existing issues from Jira because we just had one that we created and I want to pull it in here. Now, uh, when we go to map our fields, same kind of thing. We want to tell it, okay, when a task is updated, what do we want to happen? Because in, in each case, we want to establish um, the source of truth. If Jira and the dev information that's there is going to be the source of truth, we want to push information over to Asana, or if marketing is really driving these campaigns and dev is supporting, we want to push information over there. But in all cases, I always recommend we want to keep everyone updated on what's happening. So let's just make sure everything is in sync rather than just pushing one way. Because if someone's in Jira and doesn't have an Asana license, there could be context that is then missed. Now, in the summary of the actual um, issue itself, so I didn't put anything in here, but if I were to add in um, the, the summary right here, so that would be the task issue. Let's do summary, and then we can have the description like so, and then I'm going to assign it to myself. I'm not going to add any labels or anything. We'll keep it on the same team. There we go. So now we can come over, what do we want to map this summary to? Do we want the summary to be the task name or the JIRA summary? And then in that case, it'll create a new field. Let's just keep it at the task name. The description matches maps to the description. Status will map to a new field that will be created once we make this connection, okay? I also want to sync comments back and forth, so I want to make sure we check off sync comments. And then there's a few different fields that we can then add in here. So the assignee, when something's assigned, what do I want it to do in Asana? I want it to assign it to that um, person in Asana as well. Um, the reporter, the person actually creating that issue, um, what do I want that to do? It's going to map to a new Jira reporter field. And then the last one here, um, any flagged items, it's going to create a flagged field. Okay. So as you can see, there's lots of information. We're keeping them both in sync in this case, and we're going to save and close that. All right, let's close this up. I'm going to give it a quick refresh and see if it pulled in our issue. There it is. So it's already brought in our, our test issue there. There's DB1. It matches the, the progress here. That's great. Uh, and then let's go back. So now we can go in any information that was in the description. We can have it here. And now you can see we've got this little card here that shows the summary. Um, if we click on, on this, we can go um, back to Jira Cloud to see that issue directly, and then we can interact with, with those folks over there. It's even brought in my description, and now let's see. This is a comment. It's comments on there. Let's see how long it takes to pop up on this issue over on this side. There we go. So here we have, this is a comment, and then it's also showing all the different actions that have happened since this issue has been created. All right, so um, let's just take it one step further. Let's see what happens when we move this issue to in progress. Let's just see if it updates inside of Jira as well. There we go. Let's actually move it back in Asana and move it in progress here. So let's give it a refresh, see if it's going to do anything for us. So no, we'd have to move it across manually. And this actually works well because, you know, the team on this side, if it's marketing, they may not have to do in progress or done. They may have planning, content staging, approvals, and whatever their workflow looks like inside of their instance. What's important is that this task is the central source of truth that keeps both teams aligned. Now, let's go back to the list so you can see the other fields that were created. Now we have the Jira mapped field, right? You can see that it's syncing both ways, right? We can see who the reporter was. This was Marquis, obviously, on the Jira side of things. And we can see the status in Jira is in progress. Now, let's just move this back to to-do, and let's see what happens over on the Jira side. Let's give it a quick refresh. There we go. It's moved this back to Jira, and it's actually flagged this here for us as well, because I selected um, that option inside of Asana. Now, if if that's not enough for you, there's lots more you can do. Because we have the app now plugged in, we can go and use this and create different rules. So let's go and create 
a new rule. Now let's go just on tasks here so we can see all the options we have available to us. We can we can go all the way down and we can see things like when the Jira reporter is changed or when flagged is changed. Uh, we can check if flagged is the only option that we have. And then we could decide to give it additional instructions. So now we can add a comment and we can use a variable. Let's use a variable. So let's do Jira reporter. Um, this task um, has been flagged. Please take the next steps. Great. So then we've got that option. And then we're going to go in and we're going to have it do something else as well. So we're going to say, let's create a subtask. So now we can create a subtask for that individual. And we can come back and we can say either people in this case, or we can do the same thing. Jira reporter, um, please take the next steps um, and address the flagged task like so, and we can assign it to um, that variable, the task creator in this case. And so then we can publish that rule. So with this integration, there's so much we can do with it. Um, obviously the different use cases will be different based on how you want to use this. But um, I would suggest playing around with it. It's really easy to get set up. Uh, let's just go in and see if we can take a look at some of those other external triggers. And so we've got, you know, the issue being created here. Uh, here we can see Salesforce. And so if you were using Jira, Salesforce, and even Asana, you could integrate all three into this rule builder. So I hope you found this helpful. If you're in a situation where you've been working in Jira and it's no longer working for you, but your devs and engineers want to stay there and you want to keep communication on the same page, reach out to me. I'd love to walk through your different use cases, love to demo something for you. But again, play around with it yourself. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Hope you found this helpful. Share this with someone else if you did or you think they would find this helpful because it's really through your activity and your engagement that we reach more people just like you. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.